Hi there, Gemini. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 18 through the 24th. This week before the holidays is full of new and different celestial energies, but they all have the similar theme of new beginnings. There are also three planets moving into Capricorn this week, so it's best to be serious about taking steps in any new direction. A fiery Sagittarius new moon on Monday, December 18 encourages you to throw out the old and ring in the new. This theme is repeated on Tuesday, December 19. When Saturn, the planet of focus and discipline, makes its biggest move of the year. This is the first time since 1988 that Saturn will be in Capricorn, urging us to take responsi responsibility for our actions locally and globally. It will remain in Capricorn for the next three years, which is also the time when millennials born between 1988 and 1991 will be experiencing their first foray into the adult astrological world as they have their first Saturn return. Because both Saturn and Capricorn agree on the need for strict law enforcement, the next three years may also mark a rise in martial law, homeland security and or stricter internet regulations. Thursday, December 21st, fourth and last major marker in the seasonal calendar year because that's the day the sun enters Capricorn and of course the winter solstice and the beginning of the winter season starts for people in the northern hemisphere. For those in the southern hemisphere it's the beginning of the summer solstice and the summer season. It's also the shortest or the longest day of the year, depending on what hemisphere you live in. The Mercury retrograde period ends on Friday, December 22nd, which helps return transportation and communications and good news for holiday travelers. There's a sign change for Venus on Christmas Eve, December 24, when it follows the Sun and Saturn into Capricorn. Unfortunately, this is not one of Venus's happiest sign positions, but it serves as a reminder that besides parties and presents, the holidays are also filled with responsibilities to our families and those less fortunate than ourselves, Gemini. So there's a lot happening, a lot happening. Mercury moving direct is a good thing for you because of course you're ruled by Mercury and three planets in Capricorn that's a very serious earth sign, very different from your own. Keeping in mind that that fiery Sagittarius new moon is in your one-on-one -on -one relationship zone. And this is definitely a time when you will be feeling as if surrounding yourself with the right people at the right time is very, very important. Thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.